let us now look at what's called the return to risk ratio. Okay, so it's the ratio of the expected value to the standard deviation. So it's like your expected um, profits, if you will, or benefits um, per decision compared to the standard deviation per decision, or if you will, that's like the measure of the variability. So that's like your kind of like your ratio of your benefit to your risk for each investment, uh, or sorry, for each decision. Um, so the RTR formula is the following, it's the EMV over the standard deviation, and we're gonna look at that in Excel in a minute. A uh, little note here, the higher the return to risk ratio, the larger the gain or the larger the benefit compared to the risk. Uh, therefore, the better the decision. So you want to pick a decision that has a higher RTRR, and we're going to look at that with our um, building our pellet plant uh, example in Excel here. In uh, return to risk ratio, uh, very, very similar, this one right here. Just take the opposite. Take your expected value divided by, um, let's just do this down below, sorry. Take your expected value and divide by your standard deviation. EMV divided by standard deviation. This time don't times by 100. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure why, um, but we don't times by 100 for the RTRR. We do times by 100 for the CV traditionally. Okay, now talking about the return to risk ratio, which is better according to the return to risk ratio? Well, the higher the return to risk ratio, the better. The higher the return, compared to your risk, the better. So uh, this guy right here is better. So again, um, better to, um, okay, good. Better to not build the new plant according to our analysis. Wonderful. And just to wrap up with a fun little quiz, which pin do you think would have the highest return to risk ratio on this drawing, or sorry, on this picture. Okay, and you might have guessed it, so highest benefit or highest return here is the purple one, but it has the highest risk associated with it. Uh, now we've got the blue one has a high return, low risk, and the red one has a lower return and a little pinch higher risk, so most likely this blue one right here has the best return to risk ratio. Um, this one here would most likely have the highest CV, which is the highest risk to return, if that makes sense. Possibly the red one as well. And essentially it is a little bit hard to tell with this, but just kind of pictorially understanding what your EMV and your standard deviation are. Your EMV is basically like your benefit or your return um, on your decision. And your standard deviation is basically like your risk here. Um, so how high is your return compared to your risk? How high is your average expected payoff compared to the deviation on that, if that makes any sense?